But could we also highlight this green? She's missing out on something. Could that be a negative feeling for her? Kind of. Yeah. So it's a, can we sometimes feel positive and negatively about the same situation? Potentially, right? Okay. So it's okay to leave that green, right? Because she might feel a little bit left out by not being there for that first day of school. But she also might be feeling really excited because she's going to meet her brother, right? All right. I try to create a sense of belonging in the classroom by ensuring that we are being kind to each other with our communication. So a student that isn't um, the kind of student that you know verbally participates all the time is going to be less likely to participate if they think someone's going to make a comment or snicker or say something about what they're going to share. Uh, so we make it very clear at the beginning of the year that we need to maintain an open-mindedness, that we're welcoming lots of ideas, and though someone may say something that we don't agree with, we might say something that they don't agree with, but we need to be very caring in how we respond to how they share to encourage them to continue to participate. Would it be safe to say that you highlighted a lot of positive and a lot of negative feelings? Yes. Yeah, so I was walking around and it was just completely covered. Like you guys were noticing a lot of the emotions. Alina kind of seems to be a bit of a roller coaster, right? There's just something so wonderful about helping students make the transition to the next point in their academic journey um, and getting to see them come in you know a little nervous and a little scared and a little apprehensive and they grow so much in sixth grade and we get to witness that plus when they go to seventh grade we still get to see them and then they go to eighth grade and we still get to see them and they get to come to our doors and knock while we're teaching and wave at us and it's just such a cup filler to teach sixth grade what are some other emotions that you noticed that Alina was feeling that would be considered negative? Olivia? Annoyed. annoyed. How many of you noticed that Alina was annoyed at some point in the story? Yeah, I know you guys said it too. Good. All right. What is another emotion? Marcus? Disappointed. How many of you noticed disappointment in Alina? I really want them to leave this classroom as a critical thinker. Um, not just absorbing information that we're giving them, but questioning um, the information that they're reading about to help them dig deeper, to help them um, develop a more worldly understanding of the content that we're reading. Um, I hope they're not just reading words on a page. I hope that they're really taking it all in and learning from the experience of these characters by asking questions and analyzing the text and collaborating with their classmates to get different perspectives. What is the go-to book for you? personally? So the go-to book for me is a really hard question to answer. I mean, I am just a consumer of knowledge. I love nonfiction, but a book that I found myself reading again, and it's going to sound kind of bizarre, is called The Third Plate by Dan Barber. It's on the future of agriculture and food in not only the United States, but in the world. Um, and that's just so fascinating to me because I grew up on a farm right? We, there's a very systematic way that food is grown and this kind of challenges that original thinking. Um, and it's just so good. It's just so um, out of the box from what I grew up in. And I have kind of grown to love that as I get older to have my own thinking challenged to gain new perspectives and understanding so it's not so linear. Why was she mad at Hakeem? Raise your hand, please. Raise your hand. Why was she mad at Hakeem, Conrad? Because um, she, he destroyed everything, like the bottles of sand and stuff in her room. All right. Yeah, because he was destroying her stuff, right? An adaptive learner at Lucansic is a flexible thinker someone who can gain new knowledge and then recognize that their thinking is no longer the same is kind of what we're striving for.